Wednesday, we're halfway there. Uh, wow, look at all these kids that can follow directions. Well, except for David's table, sorry. Uh, wow. Uh, the rest Shit. of y'all can jump. <laughs> Go ahead and oh. make your computers close, please. Uh, and I do want you to have this conversation, but I'm going to give you a little, uh, a little direction <coughs> first. Okay. So yesterday we did an activity about the separation of powers and checks and balances. Uh, it was kind of like the abbreviated short version. And when I ask people to leave computers closed, it's not to just use your phone and stuff. All right, so check it out. These are the two laws that as a class, you all pass. Everyone in the class is now required to not be marked tardy for the first 15 minutes, okay? We will assign hall monitors to make sure people are marked tardy after the 15 minute period. So that passed by you all, and everyone in the class is now required to participate once a week. We will enforce this law by having a participation sheet ensuring everyone does something and gains points. Okay, those were the two things that the people in this class decided you should do, or rights, if you will, you should have, okay? Uh, who was in the executive groups? That's like the president. So you got the veto or a poll. I feel like you guys were, right? Or did you write off? David's group, I have one more. Who are the executives? One, two, seven, eight, or eight. You guys, no. Were you guys executive? Yes. Yeah. Who were you executive? Thanks, group. You guys weren't? Were you guys? You were judiciary, right? I had two executive groups. Who was my other executive group? Was it you guys? You wrote along? Were you guys executives? They're the ones that decided if the law would get vetoed or they decided who would enforce it. Okay. So we had groups that wrote the rules. Then we had groups that decided we're going to veto this, we don't like it, or we do like it, and we're going to figure out how to make people do it. And then we had to go to the judiciary. But my two executive groups, did you guys kill any laws? Did you veto anything? You did? Did you guys veto stuff? You upheld both? Okay. Uh, judiciary, we're here. And who was my other judiciary group? You were judiciary. Okay. Did you guys kill any laws? Like, yeah. You killed a law. How about you guys? We killed one. They killed one too. Okay, so we had six laws that got written and only two made it. That's a 33% success rate, okay? But that's with only, what, 30 people in here? The real national government, remember, we got 535 representatives to make laws, okay? Uh, you gotta get the majority of them, 535 people, to agree to something for it to get passed. And then it goes to the president, and the president can decide to sign it or not. And then even if the president signs it, the Supreme Court can be like, no, it doesn't follow the Constitution and kill it there. Okay. So, as you're thinking about that big idea, you're going to answer this big question, which apparently my computer disconnected. Oh. 
real. I want you to have at your table. Okay. So, how does that activity from yesterday, uh, the ideas behind separation of powers and checks and balances, relate to what we did yesterday? Okay. So, think about separation of powers. Think about our activity. Think about how many or what percent of laws pass, uh, and be prepared to share out. How are they connected? What does that tell us? How does that go? The activity relates because it's just like a smaller version of like. It just shows us like, uh, how hard it is because our classroom is like, only like around like 30 kids, I guess. And then uh, the actual things, like they have, they have to get uh, like 500 something people. Like, yeah. So how much power, right? Even if we vetoed it, they could have packed it off. Like, you know, Aiden, what do you got, sir? How are these things connected? 
Yes, please help him. Uh, help please us all. help him. <laughs> <laughs> Good? Okay, I'm coming back to that. Wow, all right, uh, Dang, you're gonna be our next speaker. What do you got, Dang? Aiden, let's see, because I'm coming back to you. <coughs> The law has to get approved by many people. Is that a check on everybody's power? Yeah, people have to check it to check on power. Okay, thank you, Dave. Uh, Austin, what do you got? I can't hear you, but speak up. Released yesterday because of how power was divided. Okay, power is divided, right? You had different groups of people with different kind of jobs, yeah? But it was all connected to that lawmaking process. Nice. All right, Aiden, you're on. It's like a simulation of the real thing. Yes, it is, but it, I'm going to be real. It was the very abbreviated, very short mini version, okay? Uh, when we get to our legislative branch unit, which we will do, you guys are going to like write out a lot, like the real deal, how they do it. And it's going to take a huge group, and it's going to take a lot of time, and it's got to be enforceable. you got to explain what revenue is going to be used to pay for it, et cetera. Uh, so what we saw yesterday is the baby version, okay? But yes, it is like a miniature version of the real deal. Now, let's pray that my technology works. All right, let's go. Uh, so I'm going to read what's in. I'm going to call it great. You all have a job reading what is in red. That word is federalism, just in case uh, you don't know what that is. Okay. So, Jaden's grouping. Jaden's group. I need you respecting the speaker, which at the moment is me. So, shh, thank you. All right. Soon we'll be able to explain how the U.S. by responding to questions, video questions, and an exit ticket. So we are going to do, uh, really we're only going to get through a short quiz, I'll explain in a minute, and uh, some video questions, I'm going to be real, and I to get the text dependent questions are going to happen tomorrow, okay? Uh, we've got a couple activities tomorrow, this lesson will get us through today and tomorrow if you will. It is formative, okay? Uh, relax. Uh, it's only six questions. I just got to see if you all are understanding basic things like direct democracy or indirect <coughs> democracy. If you know what separation of powers is, if you know what some checks and balances are. I will say, based on what I saw first period, that I am going to encourage you to be careful with the checks and balances. There is a graphic that you will be looking at to see what branches have what powers to check other branches. Please be careful when you look at it, okay? Because that one's like, I don't just expect you to know. I give you the information, and you got to be able to identify it, okay? You guys all good on that? All right, so before you guys all start the quiz, for obvious reasons, go ahead and put your phones, like, in your pocket, in your backpack, not on your desk. Out of sight, out of sight, out of mind, okay? Thank you. All right, beautiful. So your quiz, I'm going to try and show it to you here, but I don't know if my tech is going to make that happen. Uh, Aiden's table, you are no longer allowed to help Aiden. <laughs> okay. uh, for the sharing out, yes. For the quiz, no. All right, so under the classwork page, you're going to see the quiz right here. It is in a locked browser, so hang on before you all start. Don't leave that window until you submit it. If you leave the window before you submit the quiz, I get a notification I can't use your support. Okay? So please just answer all the questions. Don't talk to each other. No cell phones. Uh, it's six multiple choice questions and give you all five minutes to do it. Yes, sir. Uh, so we have this little thing called a computer cart, and that's usually where the computers are. <laughs> that's the that kid was just uh, probably absent in first period. I know you guys are used to being on your desk. I guess I'm going to start having a third period, but my computer's way back. This kid's coming at lunch. And All right, people, once you get it open, go ahead and just start. And please, please, please remember to not leave that page or that tab, if you will, <coughs> that window. And if anybody needs help finding it, let me know. There it is. Alex found it.
Y'all got about a minute left. Dylan, after everybody has uh, taken the clothes all I'll share it with you. I got you. I'll push your grades out. <coughs> and then the ones that if anybody, like, I have a lot of people that got one wrong, but we'll talk about that one as well. What's specifically direct democracy, indirect democracy, checks and balances, separation of powers, etc. Okay? Uh, let's keep going. Here is what we're going to try and figure out over the course of today and tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Can I get a volunteer to read the essential question, please? I'll we'll volunteer once. Thank you, David. Appreciate that, man. Uh, what is federalism and why does the United States government practice it? Beautiful. So this is very similar in the why for separation of powers, right? Separation of powers is to make sure no one branch of government has too much power, okay? Federalism is where you have, like, national government has power, states have power, uh, local governments have power. Uh, so there is, like, the rules about education that the state makes, but then the school board, specific to our district, it makes different rules as well, okay? So you have layers of power. Uh, how many of y'all finished your Find My Representative document from yesterday? I only see eight hands. Yeah, so what you are seeing is you're seeing the layers of representation and lawmaking that we have, okay? Just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, here's our question, let's see if we were paying attention, okay? Uh, I'm gonna call some folks here in a minute. What are some things that the national government can do and states cannot and vice versa and what are some rules that are different in different states are there different laws for things in different states within the united states so think of something only <coughs> states can do think of something only <coughs> national government can do Wasn't and it? think of things that are different in different states you're just talking at your table so do me a favor i know your computer is way more interesting than your friends uh clamshell your computer and put your phone <coughs> face down and have that combo <coughs> Wasn't it like healthcare or something? No, not healthcare. Or edu was it edu education? I forgot. Talk to people. Uh, I know that. I don't know if they have the power to like decriminalize drug users if they want to. Like, they have the they have the right to the uh, For some some states, uh, it's legal and to allow for recreation. Some states like Texas, they don't even allow. allow. They don't. They don't even have one. They don't. Yeah. That's why. That's why all the athletes over there, bro. In Oregon, decriminalize like shrooms, like, all the hard drugs. <laughs> 
was kind of crazy. Yeah. I look at you guys as like, what about it? Yeah, yeah, but the guys are so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Death sentence or something, and it's like what death penalty, and then others don't. Yeah, some states. Like, All right, people. Uh, uh, I heard some really people. great conversation. Uh, Johnny, what did you guys talk about? You can tell me a national power. You can tell me a state power, or something that's different in different states. The state power can control their own own city, while the government has to control like a separate. Like, the national government controls the whole country. Yeah. And the states are just in charge of the states. You're 100 percent right. Can you think of any example? Why do we know this? You talked about a couple. I'm gonna come back to you, okay? Alright. Uh dang. Yeah. You're popular today. Uh, Dang, what do you got? Either a national power or a state power or something that's different in different states. National power, national government, they have power over the military. The military, that's right. So if we're going to go to war with Canada, can California declare war on Canada? No. No, who does? The federal or the national government. People, I know it's tricky. you got to just know that the central government, the federal government, the national government are all the same thing. It's just three words that say the same thing. Okay. So just be clear on that. So yeah, 100%. It takes the national government, not the states. Mark, what do you got? What is a power that's different in different states or something that only states or only the federal government can do? The states can help like state laws. All the government uh, cannot make state laws. You're 100% right. Can you think of an example of something that's different in different states? Um, the age of consent. That's not what I said. I don't know that that's true, and I don't really have that conversation. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to say for homework, go, go look that up. Not on a school wide computer. Uh, I don't know that that's true. I'm going to guess that that's a federally mandated thing. So just throw that out there. Uh, Alex, what do you got? I want an example of a different law for the same topic in different states. Okay, keep it academic. Go ahead. Personal income tax. Personal income, state income tax. Is that what you're saying? Okay, state income tax is different in different states. That's 100% correct, right? I just did my taxes. That's a concurrent, concurrent power, right? You pay federal taxes, you pay state taxes. State taxes are different rates in different states. California's is kind of hot, just it. Okay, we got a lot of people, we got a lot of social services, facts. All right. Uh, oh, I called on Eric. I'm gonna skip it. Johnny already answered, Mark already answered, Stacy's not here, Frankie's not here, Cassandra with a C's not here, holy mackerel. Dylan with a Y, what do you got? I was also gonna say taxes. But that's a concurrent power that they both can do. I want an example that's different in different states. Kalina. Um, some states allow lane splitting and allow lane splitting. Good. Can you tell the class what lane splitting is? Because I bet a lot of them don't know. Uh, lane splitting is when like, a large area goes between uh, cars. And some states say it's dangerous, the other states allow it to allow traffic flow. Exactly. So, in some states, traffic laws, that's a great example, right? Uh, you have different rules for driving in different states. And guess who gives you your driver's license? The states. The states. My driver's license is California. Yours will too, right? You go to Arizona, different rules, got to give you an Arizona license. Okay? Very nice. All right, one more. David, what do you got, sir? Uh, I said, uh, they I'm sorry, hang on. Gentlemen, I feel like whatever's happening over here is one not school appropriate and two off topic. So let's fix that right now, please. Can I show your computer for me, please? Dylan, come on in. Yeah, sorry, David, go ahead. Uh, I said like for some laws that are different um, from like the states. Um, I said some states are they have like a death sentence and uh, some don't. 
Absolutely. Some states have outlawed the death penalty, and some still use it. That's 100% true. So, very nice example. Okay. Again, that's a state law. I'm kind of crazy about that one. So, the federal government has said that you can't have the death penalty, and some states get to say, we're not going to use it, and some say that they will. Okay. So, perfect. All right, people. So, here is a nice little list that shows both federal powers. Again, federal, national, central government. That's all these state powers that's like California, <coughs> Texas, whatever, and then again, shared or concurrent powers, that's something that they can both do at the same time, okay? All right, so I'm really hoping my tech can survive this. We'll see right now, okay? Uh, we're gonna do our first Ed Puzzle in here, but we're gonna do it together. Uh, seems like you guys are well aware of Ed Puzzle. Who in here has not done an Ed Puzzle? Anybody? One, go right not the method? Okay, cool. Uh, that's fine. That's what I had uh, planned for anyway. So here's your job, folks. Uh, you can go back to Google Classroom. And in Google Classroom, don't do it quite, quite yet. You're going to find the Ed Puzzle that says, no, it's not that. Why is it not there? Federalism font is not there. Okay. Hold up, people. I got this. <coughs> All right, now you should be able to find a nice little assignment called Federalism Fun. If it can load. I was going to remind you of that. Right there, people. So uh, it is going to be live mode, so we're going to get to do it all together. Yay. All you got to do is open that assignment and then click right there. So, uh, I'm going to start assigning these for homework. I also have a set of headphones coming for the whole class. So that way you guys can work on them in class when I do assign them. Uh, I won't assign them as classwork until we have the headphones because it doesn't work to have everybody watching that puzzle at the same time uh, for obvious reasons. But uh, since you guys already seem to know what to do, this should be pretty uh, quick and easy. I'm also going to point out, as you guys move on to college next year, Crash Course is a great resource. If there's something that you know is going to be on a test and you don't feel like your professor or teacher has covered it well, watch Crash Course about it. They give you like the main ideas. Really easy. So, kind of easy for review folks. Okay, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not <laughs> 
All right, people, uh, we're going to have to change the plan. Uh, so go ahead and log out of that. Don't trip. I'll make sure that tomorrow it will do it if we can, and if not, it's okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we'll do it this way. Go find the federalism slides activity. This is what I thought we would do tomorrow, but we can do it today. Uh, you should have your own copy, okay? And you're going to skip that one right there, okay? Uh, we'll come back to that. So here's your job instead. Uh, that'll probably end up being your exit ticket. You're going to work with the people at your table, and you are going to figure out all of these powers and who has them, okay? So if it is a state or local government power, you are going to take that description and put it on the state of California. If it is a national power, you're going to drag it and put it on the big national government. Again, you may look these things up. So I'll give you a preview. So to declare war against Canada, is that a state power or a national government power? National. Let's try one more time. To declare war, is that a state or a national government power? National, national, national government. National government. Okay, good. Yes, I'd be scared. I heard state. Boom. So you're just going to take that and drop it on the big bad United States. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. To make cities attractive places to live. Is that a state job or is that a federal government job? State. state. So you would take that and drag it over to California. Okay. Uh, there's a couple that you could call concurrent. And if you want to go that uh, in depth, you can drag that in between the two. But pretty much all of them can fit on one side or the other. All right. All right, people, what time do you all leave you today? Start 57. Oh my god, so much time. All right, people, I'm going to give you guys about 10 ish minutes to do that. Talk to the people at your table. Uh, make sure you put the jobs in the right places. Yeah. Yeah. Look that up. People, a tricky thing with Native American reservations and tribes is they're technically their own nation. So it's like a treaty, okay? So careful with that one. Where is this? It's the federal. Oh, it's Is the national yet? I have no idea. I think so. Uh, to decide who is my, or to decide who might get married legally. Put that as national. Uh, to put out fires. Uh, 
independence. Local government. Local. Global. Local. Global. Local. Global. Local. <laughs> organized, <coughs> organized community celebrations. That's uh, local. Okay, cool. uh, Rich, that's uh, national. I would say local. I think that build roads and dispose of sewage. Europe is technically a continent, and it doesn't make sense. <coughs> to build roads I put local. To keep people from speeding, all our speed. Uh, uh, it's local. local because each. I'm pretty sure each state has a different speed. Yeah. To ensure food and medicines are safe. Isn't that a, a, a national thing? Which one? The med ensure food and medicines are safe? Yeah, because it's. I'm pretty sure. Uh, to allow Ameri Native Americans to gamble on their... That one is the federal, because all, all the Native... Re oh, no. Yeah, Native American Reserve, like National Reserve, so like federally protected. Uh, to manage the flow of immigrants as now, not to appear underground water pipes. Is underground water pipe is local, right? Yeah, but resolve. Oh, what would you put for uh, to resolve disputes between states? I want to put national. Well, think about it. If California gets in a fight with Nevada, who's going to be in charge of that? Yeah, right? Because otherwise, one state would have more power than another, and then we have that system. I hope not. To, uh, to explain the policies to the rest of the world, that's national government. To keep traffic moving in an orderly manner. Uh, what'd you put for that? Keep people to what? So uh, to keep traffic moving in an orderly manner. Oh, local. Approximately six minutes. Two sentences, people. That's all I'm looking for. What is it? Give an example. 
To fill a pothole. Alright, people, this is your exit ticket. Let's see what we know. Moment of truth. Austin, your member is victim, sir. Can you tell us what federalism is and give us an example? Everybody else is respected the speaker. Perfect definition and an example. Um, states have their own uh, 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 powers and the topics like education and like the national, like they can declare war. Nice. Perfect examples. Jaden, what do you got, sir? Uh, just give me the examples because we already have the definition. Thank you, Austin. Jaden, what do you got, sir? One example is in the United States. I cannot hear you at all, man. <laughs> I need an example. Uh, um, an example is... Uh, uh, the states are allowed to protect people from robbers while the national is a city of the district of the Okay. Uh, state police officers are licensed by the state. So I think that's what you're kind of touching on. Yeah, uh, there are federal officers, but if you want to talk about like police, they get their license from the state, okay? All right, people, we are gonna pick up right here tomorrow. We do have the readings and questions that we'll take care of tomorrow in class. Don't worry about it for homework.
So let's do today. If you're finished, then just work on something else. So as far as the test goes, scores are a little bit low. So what I do is I sometimes I adjust it a little bit. So instead of being at 50, it was out of 45, which would bump you up about 10% on average. So that that uh, hold on a second. Wait, wait, uh, on average, that would be um, help a little bit. So some of the tests, like that last one, I don't know, some of the questions are confusing or. Also, maybe if you didn't put enough time in reviewing or reading the text and that kind of stuff. So some people are relying on like, the notes and the questions too much, and they're not really putting time in to make sure they are studying the material as we uh, get rid of the test. So it can be both of those things, but I know some of the questions can be confusing. So uh, those are the things you just have to pay attention to. Um, so it was adjusted a little bit, but uh, just make sure you keep turning your, your assignments and all that stuff. So you can so uh, once again, get all your work turn, turned in today, and uh, we will move on tomorrow with the next section. And that's what we're just going to do for that two comments. Okay. All right, thank you to the class. Let's start with the new break. All right, can you sign up? Permission slips? Yeah. Do you have those pictures? Oh, oh. oh it's the uh, consent form. Oh, 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 yeah. Anybody else have consent forms? Uh, it's about a month later, but I think we can stay in the role. All right, so it was submitted. I'm going to grade those after the grade, so. Um, I know some of you are going to work on something else today, so I can get it to this time.
Christian en el sangre.
want to put your stuff up, please. Um, get your work turned out today. Make a test tomorrow if you need to. We'll be doing tomorrow. Whoever's lunch up is 